Welcome back. Now today is Wednesday and we're taking you to another interesting place in the world for Where Is It Wednesday? That's right. And this week we are headed to the city that produces the most avocados in America. That's right. We are headed to San Diego, California. San Diego is known for its iconic, pristine beaches, idyllic sunny climate, friendly and laid back people, and fun tourist attractions. From its walkable downtown to its relaxed coastal atmosphere, it's no surprise San Diego's tagline is America's finest city. San Diego averages 70 degrees all year round, so there's really no bad time to visit. But if you're looking to beat the crowds, try going in the fall or spring as opposed to the summer. Join us as we journey down to the sunny Southern California and show you all the best things to do on your visit. Of course, there are tons of water activities to choose from your in your trip to San Diego. You can go surfing, paddle boarding, kayaking, boating, or sailing on the beautiful Pacific Ocean waters. Belmont Park is a top attraction where you can ride a roller coaster with a beachfront view. And with Lego Land only a short drive away, there is a ton of family-friendly entertainment to choose from. Over in Balboa Park, you can visit numerous museums and gardens, as well as the world-famous San Diego Zoo. And you can't skip out on the gas lamp district. It's known as the heart and soul of downtown. Go bar hopping, see a comedy show, or enjoy some great fine dining options. That's right. No matter your budget, you can always find some amazing food in San Diego. Embrace the West Coast life with a giant California burrito stuffed with French fries. Or load up on some carne asada and fish tacos. Overall, San Diego is known for its fresh seafood and blend of Mexican-American cuisine. Apparently, San Diego is a culinary epicenter, home to various celebrity chefs and high-end eateries. In the mood for some sushi, you can go to Sushi Oda for some excellent authentic Japanese dishes. Or enjoy the Michelin star contemporary Mexican restaurant Valley. Here you can't go wrong sipping on a glass of red wine while enjoying some oceanfront views. And I have my authentic uh, Legoland cup purchased uh, in 2006 from the San Diego area. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. That's how you know we're certified to talk about this. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm yes. the expert here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wraps it up for another edition of Where's It Wednesday. That's right. If you have a suggestion of a place you'd like us to visit next week, just send us a message on our socials. And here's a live look outside at Medford from our Rogue Valley Manor Cam. Thanks for starting your day the Sunrise, Sunrise Way. Choose the NBC5 News and Weather app. I'm Randy from Southern Oregon Subaru, and this is Bindi. And we're here with our friends from NBC5 News at Sunrise. I'm Natalie, and this is Mac. I'm Kevin, and this is Emily. And this is Abby. These dogs are truly part of our families. Join us Wednesdays for Pet Talk, where we feature adorable pets that you could adopt right now at So Humane. Pet Talk, Wednesdays on NBC5 News at Sunrise, sponsored by Southern Oregon Subaru where pets are always welcome. <laughs> Why are you upside down? Why are you upside down? You get... NBC5 News is now on Cozy TV every night at 10. Here's how to find it. If you're on Spectrum, tune to channel 188. If you're receiving NBC5 over the air, 2 to 5.2. And you can stream NBC5 News on Cozy at klbi5.com. Need help finding Cozy? Our engineers will answer your questions. Just call us. NBC
Okay. Happy Pink Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at our Wednesday snaps on sunrise. First up from Barbara Cromwell, she says some snaps of the Northern Lights and the Big Dipper on Monday night in Grants Pass. <sighs> I didn't even really know the Northern Lights were in our area until it was already too late. Me so neither. I didn't get a chance to, to look at them, but I'm thankful that you sent us some pictures of Honestly, them. Honestly, I'm kind of happy because it meant that I would have had to jeopardize my sleep schedule, and I right. don't know if I would have been willing to or not for these. Yeah, so yeah. So we'll never know. We'll just enjoy the pictures instead. Exactly. <laughs> Late. Ricky it, is on our bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ricky's like, bring on the fall sweaters yes. and the pumpkin spice lattes. Ricky, welcome to the club. We are <laughs> we're happy to have you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. And finally, from Erica Dixon, we have a beautiful day in Crescent City. That oh. is a beautiful day in Crescent City. Although, I feel like most days are beautiful days in Crescent City. Truly. Yeah. Truly. Yeah, that's very nice. It's, a, it's another uh, postcard picture. It is. Yeah. Very pretty. Thank you so much, Erica. Well, that's it for our Snaps on Sunrise. We always love seeing your awesome pictures, so please keep sending them in. Send them to us using Facebook, Instagram. pet of the week is this happy guy, Rogue. Rogue is a three-year-old husky mix who has been at So Humane for about a month. He's a friendly pup who loves getting his pets, playing with toys, swimming, hiking, or just running around. Because of his high energy, though, Rogue will need a fairly active family to keep him busy. That's right, staff at So Humane say Rogue gets along well with other dogs and is overall a very sweet boy. In fact, one of his favorite things to do is play catch. As long as you can keep up with his energy, Rogue would make an easy and lovable pet to add to your family. So what are you waiting for? Head down to the shelter or reach out to the adoption staff between 12 and 5 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Go meet Rogue or the selection of other animals ready for adoption.